शुक्ला ब्रह्म विचार सार परमाध्याम जगद्व्यानी वीणा पुस्तकधारिणी उभयता जाड्यांधकारापहा हस्ते स्फाटिमालिका विदधती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदे तां परमेशरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा गवा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुण्या कौम्यहम पाणिनीय प्रवेशाय लघु सिद्धांत कौमती so we were looking at uh, subanta prakriya and adanta rama shabda so what lagukara does as i have told earlier is he introduces the sutra when there is a need in derivation of a particular form whichever sutra he has covered he assumes that uh, those sutras remain covered and he does not reintroduce them when he needs them only when he needs an additional sutra for rupa siddhi in rama derivation let's say for ditya uh, vibhakti ek vachana he needs another sutra he'll introduce them and introduce that particular sutra or any other sutra he needs he'll bring in every other sutra which has been covered and is still applicable in the derivation of the form he assumes to be covered and directly mentions the rupa and moves on so we need to keep on referring back as to uh, which are the sutras which are applied it's a good exercise to derive those with each and every sutras although uh, we won't look at all of those sutras each time it's good to remember those and revisit while deriving each and every form each and every vibhakti and vachana so last sutra we saw was ekavachanam sambuddhi uh, so far what has he derived in rama shabda he has derived ramah ramo ramah and then what he is doing he is doing prathama sambodhana in prathama sambodhana so suojas he has already added for prathama vibhakti now suojas pratyas the same pratyas are applicable for sambodhana also because sambodhana is what prathama prathama vibhakti but in sambodhana the forms are different especially the uh, the sambuddhi sambuddhi meaning the sambodhana prathama ekavachana the uh, sambodhana prathama and ekavachana that has sanya of sambuddhi therefore he introduces the sutra ekavachanam sambuddhi so when you add rama plus su here you will add rama for rama rama shabda you would add su but this su this su pratyaya is not in the sense of prathama vibhakti but prathama vibhakti sambodhana it will be sambodhana pratyaya so i'll just say sambodhana here sam prathama ekavachana this is called as sambuddhi sambodhane prathamayaha ekavachanam sambuddhi sanyamsya so it's a sanya sutra he uses the sambuddhi sanya to to the sambodhana prathama ekavachana this is what i had mentioned last time when we closed the class further now he needs anga sanya this particular entity uh, the shabda swarupa shabda roopa or the uh, the uh, all the letters all the aksharas which have come together before this pratyaya su pratyaya or any pratyaya before any pratyaya that has a particular sanya anga sanya and anga adhikara in the 6th chapter onwards there is a huge anga adhikara which is the application area of the anga sanya so he needs to use that sanya anga and for that purpose he introduces the sanya in the next sutra yasmat pratye vidis tadadi pratyangam yasmat pratye vidis tadadi pratyangam so what is the uh, padacheda here yasmat this is also sanya sutra yasmat pratyaya yasmat pratyaya vidhi pratyaya vidhi tadadi pratyaye angam so angam is the uh, sanya which is defined here and yasmat panchami ek vachana pratyaya vidhi एक वचन 
Tadadi Ekochano and Pratye Saptami Ekochano. So what is the Pratye Vidhi? This is the Samasa. Tadadi is also Samasa. Yasmat. So Digyoga Panchami. From which? From which or uh, Yasmat here would be uh, can be the reason also. So Heto Panchami, let me just uh, cross check if uh, something else is mentioned here. He says what yaha, yaha pratya yasmat kriyate. So uh, simple reason is, uh, uh, simple uh, panchami would be dig panchami. So dig yoga panchami works well. Uh, although heto may also work, but he uses as yasmat kriyate. Yasmat yaha pratya kriyate. So yasmat from, uh, as in to which, so here in English we will not say from, so to which a pratya is added to which a pratyay is added tadadi shabda swarupam tasmin angam syat. so angam syat, that angas ang, basically anga is that is called as anga what is called as an anga that tadadi shabda swarupam tadadi is what beginning with which what is that yasmat kriyate tadadi so yasmat and tad are the same entity so yasmat kriyate tasyadihi Tasya Adihiya Bhavati Shabda Adi Swarupam Tasmi Nangam Syat. So if you look at the Samasa here, Pratyaya Vidhi Shashti Tat Purusha. So Pratyaya Sya Vidhi Kriyate. So Yasmat Pratyaya Vidhi Kriyate. Pratyaya Yasmat Kriyate. So Pratyaya Kriyate means what? Pratyaya Vidhi Ucchate. Sutra Ena. By Sutra Pratyaya Vidhi is given. It is ordained. Pratyaya is ordained. So Pratyaya Sya Vidhi. Pratyaya Vidhi. So that is the samasa for pratyavidhi. Tadadi is a bahuri. So tat. Tat is what? This, this shabda surupam. Here if you take rama plus su. In this rama, this repha, akara, makara, akara. This is shabda surupam. So whichever shabda surupam. Yasmat shabda surupat. So if you say yasmat shabda surupat pratyavidhi kriyate or yasmat yaha pratyaha Yasmat kriyate. So Yasmat Shabda Surupa. Tadadi is that this tat is this Shabda Surupa. Tat Adihi Adihi Yasya. So Yasya. That is Tat Tadadi. So this tat obviously this tat and uh, this is not same. This tat is talking about the samasa. Or we will just say Tadadi Yasya. To avoid confusion, we will say Tadadi Yasya. So you say Yasya Saha. Saha, if, it, if the, uh, the Anyapada is Pullinga, you will say Tadadi Yasya Saha. And if it is Trilinga, you will say Tadadi Yasya Yasya Ha Sa. So that Sa is the Anyapada uh, pada in Trilinga. Here the Anyapada here is Tadadi and that itself is neuter. So therefore you say Tadadi Adihi yasya tat. So tat tadadi is uh, tadadi. So it's difficult to, tat itself is in the samasa. Therefore it will be confusing. I'll leave it at tadadihi yasya is what tada, is tadadi. And yasya, uh, this tat is shabda surupam. This Ram. So what is being said? Tadadi, tadadi, starting from this. Yasmat Pratya Vidhi Kriyate. So this Pratya Vidhi, Vidhi Su is ordained for what? In this case for a Pratipadika. Nya Pratipadika Su Aujas Amokshas and so on. Thereby the Su is ordained Yasmat. So it is ordained after what? Nya Pratipadika. In this case Pratipadika. Therefore this Pratipadika is Yasmat Pratipadika Pratya Vidhi Su Ityadi Kriyate. Here, yaha pratyaya yasmat kriyate, yaha suvadi pratyaya yasmat pratipadikat kriyate, tadadi shabda surupam. This tadadi shabda surupam, starting from this refa here. So, rama is the shabda surupa. And tadadi is what? This re, refa onwards. So, refa onwards, this entire entity is what? Tasmin. Is tasmin? Tasmin pratyay. This pratyay. Tasmin is what? Pratyay. 
प्रत्यय परे मीनिंग अप टू दिस प्रत्यय अप टू दिस प्रत्यय दिस एंटायर एंटिटी स्टार्टिंग विथ दैट शब्द स्वरूप फॉर विच दिस प्रत्यय वॉज ऑर्डेड एंड टिल दी दैट वेरी प्रत्यय तस्मिन तस्मिन प्रत्यय दैट वेरी प्रत्यय टिल दैट प्रत्यय फॉलोज द एंटायर शब्द स्वरूप विल बी कॉल्ड एज वॉट अंग See here it is very easy to know Rama plus Su plus uh, Sam. We say what is the difficulty in understanding? I'll show you where the difficulty. We have seen this earlier, but let me show you why uh, the sutra seems so complicated. Because right now we have only one pratyah. What if we had say uh, say two pratyahs, three pratyahs, four pratyahs? There can be many number of pratyahs. Now let's say Bhudhatu. Bhudhatu, you add Shap. Not shap, sorry. Bhuda to you add. Say tip, tip pratyay you add. Now this tip pratyay is added. Yasmad bhuda to ho. Yasmad bhuda to. So in this case, anga would be what? Here it is not pratipadika. Tip is not added to pratipadika. Su is added to pratipadika. Therefore, the shabda swarupa there tat is pratipadika. In this case, tip is added to dhatu. Therefore, this dhatuadi. Tadadi is what? Dhatuadi here. Shabda swarupa is dhatu. So dhatwadi bhakara, starting with this bhakara till this tasmin pratye, tasmin pratye, tasmin angam syad. So this and this entity will be called as bhakara and ukara will be called as anga. Now when tip is added, tip is sarodhatu ka tingshit sarodhatu kam, and sarodhatu ke kartari arthi you have added. So kartari sarodhatu ke shab pratye bhoti. Where should that shab pratye go? It will go immediately after the dhatu. Therefore shab will come and sit here. But tip is still here. Now, for shap, what is the anga? Shap was added for bhu. Shap was also added for bhu. Tip was also added for bhu. So, is the anga bhu common to tip and shap? No, it is not. Why? Because for tip, bhu is the anga. Here you think it is the anga, but the prakriya is not over. Therefore, for tip, bhu is not the anga. For shap, bhu is the anga, but for tip. यस्मात क्रियते यस्मात यह प्रत्यय यस्मात क्रियते सो यह प्रत्यय यस्मात क्रियते दिस टिप प्रत्यय वाज वाज ऑर्डेन्ड आफ्टर दिस भूधातु सो स्टार्टिंग विद दिस भकारा बट टिल व्हेन नॉट टिल शप प्रत्यय तस्मिन तस्मिन नेव प्रत्यय परे सो दिस टिप वाज एडेड फॉर भू शप वाज आल्सो एडेड फॉर भू बट टिप व्हेन एडेड फॉर भू Whatever comes and sits here, whatever is the prakriya, still starting with bhakara and ending with that very pratyaya, not any other pratyaya, that very pratyaya. For that, uh, the for that pratyaya, everything that starts with bhakara, for which the adi tadadi, for which the pratyaya was added, and till that very pratyaya, entire entity will be called as anga. So bhu plus shap will Become the anga here, and when you derive this, you will get bhava. So bhava will become the anga for tip, not bhu, but bhava, or bhu plus shap. For shap, however, bhu is the anga. So this is the reason yasmat. He is given with uh, in a codified language as yasmat with a pronoun. It can be a pratipadika, it can be a dhatu, it can be uh, anything. For which the pratya is added wherever pratya is ordered, third, fourth, and fifth chapters. Uh, anything in first case is pratya. So tadhita pratya also. If you add a tadhita pratya or a samasanta pratya for all those, what will be the anga for whichever the pratya, whichever kind of pratya is added to whatever set of letters, starting with the letter for which it was, uh, starting with the letter which is at the beginning. till the, that very pratyaya this entire thing becomes anga now he needs this for rama plus su here so i'll just mark it here bhu is the anga but bhu is the anga for say bhu is the anga for shap here and then other is let's say i'll mark it as this this is this is another anga for tip So further, what does he say? Now he is got this. He has got this. 
संबुद्धि संज्ञा विच इज दी प्रथमा एक वचन इन संबोधन सो ही इंट्रोड्यूस इज नेक्स्ट सूत्र एज टू वॉट हैपन्स वेन यू एड दिस संबुद्धि संबुद्धि प्रत्यय यू एड दिस वॉट हैपन्स एंग हस्वात संबुद्धे है एंग हस्वात संबुद्धे है This is six one sixty nine. Let's go to Ashtadhyay and see what is the anurutti. So in some uh, books it will be sixty seven. So he has sixty nine here. This sutra eng hraswat sambuddhe he. So eng hraswat. Eng hraswat is one single pada. So you see, eng dash hraswat is written. So eng hraswat is panchmi ek vachana. We'll see what it means. Sambuddhe he. So sambuddhe he is like sambuddhi is the prati pariga. Sambuddhe he what? Sambuddhe he. What happens? You have this hal. Hal has anurutti here. What else is the anurutti? Lopa. Lopa is the adesha. So, in Haswat, Sambuddhi, sixty, it goes till seventy. So, Hal and you have Hal and Lopaha as Anurutti. We'll see what it means. So, in uh, in and so Haswa, Rama, Rama is. Hraswanta, so Hraswat is Hraswantat, and Eng also Eng Antat. Why? Because this is in the sixth chapter, and in sixth chapter, what else do you have? I'll, I'll look up the Ashtadhyay. It's easier. Just give me the sutra number. I mean, Ashtadhyay is in the printed book. That's all. There is no other. Uh, no other nuti. So, ing raswat sambuddhe he. So, padacheda. Ing raswat here the samasa would be. Uh, just a second. Yeah. So. फर्स्ट दिस संबुद्धे संबुद्धे षष्टी एक वचन इट दानी सो संबुद्धे लोप सो so, संबुद्धि इज दिस विच वॉज सीन लास्ट टाइम एक वचन संबुद्धि सो प्रथम एक वचन इन संबोधन इज कॉल संबुद्धि सो दिस दिस संबुद्धि सु एंड वॉट इज ही सेंग संबुद्धि प्रत्यय विच इज एडेड संबुद्धि प्रत्यय एज इन प्रथम संबोधन विच इज एडेड राम प्लस सु इन प्रथम संबोधन आफ्टर वॉट आफ्टर ह्रस्व आफ्टर ह्रस्व मीन नॉट अ ह्रस्व नॉट अ वॉवेल बट अ बट अ अंग एंडिंग इन अ वॉवेल सो वाई डिड ही नीड एन अंग संज्ञा हियर इज वेर इज दिस प्रत्यय एडेड संबुद्धि इज अ प्रत्यय इट इज अ प्रथम एक वचन दिस इज वॉट एक वचन संबुद्धि एक वचन मीन वॉट इज विभक्ति इट्स अ प्रत्यय सो दट प्रत्यय विच इज एडेड इन एक वचन एंड As which is in sambuddhi, which is a sambuddhi pratyaya. There, what happens? Sambuddhi he pratyaya. So this pratyaya, when you add it, add pratyaya, what happens to uh, the earlier set of letters? It gets the anga sanya. So it gets this anga sanya till this sambuddhi pratyaya. Whatever shabda swarupa is there, tadadi shabda swarupam tasmin pratyaya pare. So tasmin sambuddhau. तस्मिन संबुद्ध उपरे 
entire thing will be called as anga. So, eng hraswat is what? Eng hraswat anga. You can bring in eng hraswat anga. Although there is no anuvritti, by this very definition that you have got angam. Whenever a pratya is added, any entity set of letters which precede it, they get the anga sanya. Thereby, anga sanya is there for whatever precedes. So when you say anga eng hraswat, eng hraswat angat you can say. After that anga and thereby eng antat you can bring the tadanta vidhi now because eng hraswat and angat are in samanari karanyam and their visheshana, visheshya bhava is there. You can bring the tadanta vidhi and say eng antat. That's why he says eng antat hraswantat cha angat. Where did he get this anga? From the earlier sutra that he introduced, he said that whatever precedes the pratya is called as anga, starting from that for which the pratya was ordered. Now, why starting with tadadi? Why this tadadi is mentioned? I'll just clarify this. Another reason is when you let's say here, uh, say. Our, uh, let's say, let's take an example of, uh, say Upanishad itself, Upa plus Ni plus Sadhatu. I'll just give an example. Now, plus Sadhatu plus, let's say, Quip is added. Quip is a, a Pratya, say I add Quip Pratya. Now, when this Quip Pratya is added, what was this Quip or Pratya ordained for? It was ordained for Sadhatu. After a Dhatu in the uh, third chapter, Quip Pratya is added ordained. Now, uh, this anga for quip is not upa plus ni plus sad. It was ordained for sad. Therefore, the anga will be sad. Only this much will be the anga. This upa plus ni plus sad will not be the anga. Although we write as upa puru, uh, upa ni purvasya sad dhato ho quip pratya bhavati. Actually, it is not so. This upa and ni, these upa sargas are added at the end when this sad plus quip is entirely derived. So when you derive this sad plus quip, when you derive this completely, only then you can add upa plus ni. So upa sarga is added at the end. So when you are deriving sad plus quip, that time upa and ni have, are not present at all. Therefore, for quip, sad is the anga and not upa ni sad. So this is the uh, reason why tadari is mentioned, where tad is what? Tad is that for which yasmat pratya vidhi kriyate. So yasmat dhato ho, sad dhato ho, kvip pratya kriyate, tadadi. Is tadadi is dhatwadi sadadi is anga, not upa plus ni. So this has to be uh, very clear. Otherwise, uh, there can be some confusion in some sutras and then uh, our derivation goes wrong. So, bringing this Anga Sanya from the earlier definition, he says, Eng Antad Hraswantad Cha. So, Eng and Hraswa is what? This, uh, this Pada, Eng, Eng Cha. So, here it is a Dvandva. Basically, it is Dvandva. You can make out it is a Samahara Dvandva. So, Eng, Eng Cha, Hraswan Cha, so not Hraswancha, Hraswaha, Hraswaha cha, Hraswaha cha, Eng, Hraswam. So it's a Samahara Dvandva and Tasmat, Tasmat, Eng Hraswat. And what is this? It, you add a Tadari Vidhi and you will get Eng Antat, Hraswantat cha, Sambuddehe, the Sambuddhi Pratya which is added after an Enganta Pada or a Hraswanta. Rama is Hraswanta. So in our example, Hraswanta is being utilized. That part of Sutra is being utilized. Eng. Eng contains A and O. A Ong. So A, A Anta and O Anta are not covered by Laghu. I'll just mention those. We'll not go into details of how uh, uh, those forms come about to be. But Enganta, Hraswanta, Cha, Angad. What happens? Hal Lupyate. Whichever hal is added, that hal lupyate, sambuddhehe chet. So when, only when sambuddhi, or if it is a sambuddhi, in sambuddhi, in sambodhana prathama vachana, ek vachana, 
what happens that hull is undergoes low power and what is that hull which undergoes low power here you see we have got so i'll just i'll say hey ram to for clarification hey ram so that hey ram plus su su what happens this ukara upadeshe janu nasika it thereby this su has become sakara this sakara is hull now so this hull 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 of sambuddhi so hull lupyate it will undergo lopa so here you see hull hull lopa has bhavati so hull of the sambuddhi undergoes lopa this is how it has to be uh, read a little difficult to see how hull becomes the the sambuddhi is shashti ek vachana and hull is hull is in prathama ek vachana but this hull undergoes lopa that's what it means so he he says sambuddhe he chet so hull lupyate he clarifies that hull lupyate sambuddhe he chet so hull of the sambuddhi you can take a hull of sambuddhi undergoes lopa thereby this sakara which is hull sambuddhe he chet then what will happen it will undergo lopa it will be subject to elision and when adarshanam lopa and what is lopa adarshanam lopa so this sakara which was heard in derivation it goes goes away thereby you get only he rama so is derived it now rama and rama ha are already derived in prathama ek vachana there are no special rules for this therefore he says rama ha rama rama ha he rama he rama he rama so in he in his derivation he has already completed the prathama ek vachana and sambuddhi further now what is to be derived we have to derive the next one which is what the next is rama plus suojas am auksas so am am is to be derived and am out out also this rama form you will get but takara will be it we'll see that same sutras will be applied except for takara how it undergoes lopa except for that sutra everything else is same so dvitiya dvivachana is also considered derived and he says after this ami purva you will get ramam form and then rama which is this is actually what this is dvitiya dvivachana this is this is prathama sambodhana ekavachana earlier he has derived prathama ekavachana so this is also considered as derived with the earlier sutra and he has already covered how takara will be it therefore he does not cover it again so which is the sutra needed now for the dvitiya ekavachana rama plus am he needs ami purva ami purva sutra so introduce ami purva 61107 so if you go to 61107 what does this it, it, it say you have uh ami purva so purva purva savarna so this you see purva savarna here it goes till only 106 after this there is no purva savarna this purva here it says he brings back purva akaha ami achi purva rupam ekadesha syat so you go back and see what else is coming here See, eka purva parayo. It goes till triple one. Eka ha purva parayo. So you can bring that as anuvrutti here. Eka ha eka desha purva parayo ho. Eka ha adesha se purva parayo ho. Stane stane ho eka ha adesha se. A single adesha for what? This ami purva ha. so purva uh, ekadesha which is the eka purva parayo ho purva parayo purva ha ekadesha sya so uh, ami ami pare when am am follows am as an am pratya uh, this am pratya what happens then purva savarna adesha sya purva parayo purva savarna adesha sya 
and akaha akaha is used here by the sutra gonna hit see achi also comes in till 125 ikoyana chi but ami is mentioned am is already a, already an ach so am will override ach not any ach but only the am ach and akaha this akaha savarne dhir akaha goes till 107 so this akaha ami purvaha so you have what akaha akaha ami purva akaha ekah purva parayo and achi is also there this achi is saptami ek vachana ami is also saptami ek vachana so ami achi you don't need ach at all but he needs it further therefore ach is there but need not be used not all ach ach which is am only the am pratyara uh, uh, am pratya ach when that follows what happens akaha akaha purvaha adeshasya purvaha savarna ekah purva parayo purvaha purva parayo ho not savarna here purva purva adeshasya purva parayo ho in the place of both the earlier and the later the adesha is ekah and what is ak here a yun real rik all so panchami ek vachana akah akah a e u and then real rik so all these ru and ru may have some other rules but a e u for the uh, the first three the rules are applicable here this ami purva is applicable any anyway, i just forgot to mention in the earlier sutra eng so hraswat we saw rama is hraswanta eng a and o i said i'll mention this so i'll go back and just cover that I forgot that so the other two examples would be say agnihi agnihi or let's say harihi say harihi we'll see it when we cover hari shabda so i'll not cover the rules here but hari plus su in sambodhana if you add su in sambodhana ek vachana what happens this is this is sambuddhi samya and in sambuddhi there is a sutra which says uh, sambuddha it takes guna so one once it takes guna it becomes hare once it has become hare hare plus sakara in sambuddhi what happens here engant so hare is engant pada now engant angat so not pada engant anga so engant angat hal lupyate and thereby you will get he hare this is a ekaranta now okaranta also okara how will you get okara guna so say vayu so vayu plus same vayu plus su sambodhana prathama which will which is sambuddhi and sambuddhi sambuddha upare it will take guna and you will get okara's guna is okara you will get vayo so vayo or hey guru so you will get vayo plus sakara which is hal and lupyate engantat engantat hal lopah bhavati therefore you will get he vayo since uh, he does not cover lagukara does not cover we will look at we will not look at everything because when we see okaranta uh, ikaranta or ukaranta derivation that time we'll cover the other rules but here just remember that there is a guna by which ikara hari becomes hare and vayu becomes vayo so moving back to ami purva ami purva akah ami achi so ami achi he says only achi pare but that which is an am ami achi pare ev akah ami achi pare purva roopam ekadeshasya what is purva roopam so rama plus am when you say rama plus am what should happen here by rules that we know you will get ramam there should be savarna dirgha but there is no savarna dirgha here because this is an apwada ami purvaha ami ami purvaha purva purva is akara rama plus a so ram a plus am 
ಪೂರ್ವಪರೆಯು ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಆದೇಶ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ವಿಲ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಬಿ ರೀಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಕಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೇರ್ ಬೈ ಯುಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ರಾಮಂ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಾಮಂ ಸೊ ರಾಮಂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಡಿರೈವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ರಾಮೌ is assumed to be derived because he's already derived it twice as in once he has derived it and he's already covered it in sambodhana also next sutra he needs when he adds suo just amount shas so now he is adding shas rama plus shas what is the content of shas sakara halantyam it halan by halantyam it and tasya lopa sakara will go content is sh so what happens to this sh rama plus sh what will you get the form is rama ram ramah ramo ramaha ramo ram raman so although just and shas contain uh, contains as now the sakara is lopa by halantyam but we have seen na vibhakto tusma therefore sakara is not lopa although i did say lopa by halantyam prapta but uh, we have seen na vibhakto tusma when we saw just so just therefore the content will still remain shas without this sutra so halantyam it na vibhakta utusma in vibhakti uh, tu tu sa and ma will not be it letters therefore sakara is not an it letter although elsewhere being antya hal it would undergo lopa but not in a vibhakti in a vibhakti sakara is not an it letter but shakara is an it letter here adi pratyasy adi this pratyadi shakara is an it by this sutra lashakvat tadhite so lashakvat tadhite all the anuvrutti of in the 132 onwards so you see 13 all of this will come as anuvrutti upadeshe jannasika it so upadeshe and it will go further till lashakvatadhite pratyasya pratyasya adihi lakarah shakarah and ka varga ku ku atadhite not in a tadhita a tadhite is in in non tadhita when in non tadhita or when tadhita in a tadhita pratya lakara shakara and ka varga although there at adi they will not be an it letter but otherwise if it is a non tadhita and we are in subanta subanta prakriya in subanta prakriya supratte is not a tadhita pratya therefore atadhite lakara shakara and ku ku meaning ka varga letters are it upadeshe in an upadesha the pratyasya adi lakara shakara atadhite and ka varga letters are it and then thereby tasya lopa so here shakara since it is mentioned here the shakara taddita varj taddita varj taddita varj pratyadyaha lashaka vargaha lakara shakara and ka varga itah syu consider them as it so la lashaku lashaku ataddite lashaku is what prathama ekvachana and atadite is nanj tatpurusha saptami ekvachana and what is the anuruti here upadeshe pratyasya adihi it so in an upadesha at the beginning of the pratya whichever lakara shakara or ka varga letter is there in a non tadhita that will get it sanya and thereby tasya lopa so what happens here what happens is rama plus shas will become rama plus as so here sakara is not lopa because of what because of na vibhakto utusma tusmaha which we have seen here na vibhakto tusmaha ta varga 
letter sakara and makara are not it in vibhakti although it is at is the antya hal so rama plus us what has to happen here now so he's got lashakva taddite with that lagukara has got the rama plus shas is has become rama plus as now what happens if you just add them together you'll get rama as rama ha the way you got in prathama ekvachana however what happens is that the form is raman he brings in another sutra tasmat shaso nak pumsi tasmat shaso ho tasmat shaso nak pumsi so tasmat we'll see what tasmat is shaso ho shaso nah kumsi so tasma shasa shaso is shasa nah pumsi so nah is nakara akara here is uchcharana arthe pumsi in in kumsi is in pum in pullinga in pullinga tasmat after something after that what is that we'll see he says purva savarna dirghat paraha so tasmat is purva savarna dirghat that here is purva savarna dirgha so purva savarna dirgha we have seen earlier purva savarna dirgha so he says ya shasaha shasaha sa so shashti ek vachana this sakara shasa sakara saha of shas not any other sakara shasaha sakara shasaha sakara tasya nahasya nahasya means nakaraha syat kumsi kumsi vishay in pullinga after what after see you see this sutra is 61103 look at 61103 see what was ordained prathamayo purva savarna we have seen this in the prathama vibhakti prathama vibhakti and dvitiya vibhakti both prathamayo ho it is divachana so in the prathama vibhakti and uh, dvitiya vibhakti purva savarna purva savarna what not purva savarna purva savarna and dirgha is there till 106 it goes till 102 has dirgha purva savarna is not the adesha purva savarna dirgha is the adesha so purva savarna dirgha was ordained in the prathama vibhakti thereby uh, by the sutra we got ramaha also form now this ramaha rama plus shas which has become ramaha plus as there savarna dirga is not done what is the dirga done prathamayo purva savarna so purva savarna dirga is done here not this akas savarne dirga this is an apavada to akas savarne dirga we have seen although the form here may be same right now however this is the sutra which is added and tasmat is what tasmat purva savarna dirga this tasmat is a pronoun and the noun there is purva savarna therefore lagukara says what tasmat is equal to purva savarna dirgha where you have made purva savarna if you add akas savarna dirgha the form may be same for ramaha but what happens is that tasmat savarna dirgha na but tasmat purva savarna dirgha only when this sutra has applied after that you can make nakara otherwise you can't make nakara and only uh, sakara of the shas so shasaha shasaha why sakara because shasaha here alone this adesha is for shashti ek vachana this is istani and it will not take away the entire uh, istani is actually the last letter alone this so here you see the last letter is sakara and shasaha sakarasya tasya nah nah syat means nakarasya thereby the form that we had here rama plus as this rama plus as this as is as is shas and sakara of as will take shakara of as will as will take will take nakara adesha thereby rama plus as will become rama plus an it will become an not directly here first you will make rama ramas it will become ramas because purva savarna dirgha has to be done so here there is this sutra will apply prathamayo purva savarna you will get prathamayo ho 
पूर्व सवर्ण दीर्घ दीर्घ एंड देन आफ्टर दिस दीर्घ हेज हैपन तस्मा पूर्व सवर्ण दीर्घा शसह सकार सकार ऑफ शस विल टेक नकार आदेश एंड विल बिकम रामान देर बाय यूल गेट दि फॉर्म रामान सो वॉट हेज ही डिराइव्ड नाउ नॉट एट डिराइव्ड ओके नॉट डिराइव्ड बट ही इज गॉट दिस नकारा सो वाई इट इज नॉट डिराइव्ड इज बिकॉज अनदर सूत्र इज प्राप्त हियर नकारा वॉट हैपन्स टू नकारा आफ्टर रेफा सो यू गेट रामेण और वेन यू से एड सम मकारा इमीडिएटली आफ्टर रेफ और वेन सम पर्टिक्युलर लेटर्स इंटरलीव स्टिल देर इज नत्व नकारा टेक्स मूर्धन्य नत्व दैट नत्व शुड हैपन हियर इट इज प्राप्त सो ही इंट्रोड्यूस इज अनदर सूत्र हियर बिफोर ही कंक्लूड दैट रामान इज दी फॉर्म हिज रीच रामान बट अनदर सूत्र इज इज अटकुपांग नुम व्यवाए पी अटकुपांग नुम व्यवाए पी इज इन त्रिपादी एंड द सूत्र इज वॉट रशाभ्याम नोण सामन पदे अर्लियर सूत्र इज रशाभ्याम नोण सामन पदे एट फोर वन सो एट फोर वन इज प्राप्त हि सेज वेन यू थिंक ऑफ दिस एप्लाइंग दिस सूत्र एट फोर वन रशाभ्याम नोण सामन पदे सो नकार से नकार आदेश नष्टी एक वचन रशाभ्याम इज पंचमी द्विवचन आफ्टर रेफा एंड शकार मूर्धन्य शकार षण्मुख शकार आफ्टर रेफा और शकार दिस नकार शुड टेक नत्व सामन पदे वेन दे आर इन द सेम पद नॉट अक्रॉस पद एंड देर इज अ वार्तिका हियर विच इज रुवर्ण रुवर्ण देर इज अ टाइपो हियर सो रुवर्ण से नत्व वाच्यम सो रु रुवर्ण रेफा रुवर्ण और शकार when they are followed by nakara that nakara takes natvam and not only when they are when nakara immediately follows refa or shakara or ruvarna but even when this sutra atku vangnu vyavayepi when there is a vyavay vyavay means what when some letters are are separating the nakara from refa or shakara whatever is the nimitta from the nimitta refa or shakara etc when nakara is interleft by what at at pratyahara ku ka varga letters pakara pu uh, not pakara pu var pu varga is pa varga pu is pa varga and ang when ang ang is another uh, set of letters ang ang maryada vividho so ang or num when num agama is added even then so अट प्रत्याहारा लेटर क वर्ग लेटर प वर्ग लेटर आंग और नुम वेन एनी ऑफ दीज आर एनी वन और मोर वेन वन और मोर ऑफ दीज आर सैंडविच बिटवीन दिस निमित्त रेफ शकार और रुवर्ण एंड दि नकारा विच इज दिस थानी इवन देन नत्व शुड हैपन इन अ समान पद दिस इज वॉट दिस सूत्र सेज नाउ वॉट डू वी हैव वी हैव रामान रामान इज there is refa here so nimitta refa is there is nakara immediately following it no what do you have you have akara you have makara and akara so this is what this is refa akara makara another akara and then nakara now this nakara should it take natvam or not that is the question here so akara is part of what at ayun real ruk a o ai auch हयवरट लंड सो अई उन रील रुक ए ओंग हयवरट लंड सो दैट इज हाउ दि सूत्र सो अट अट प्रत्यारा अई उन रील रुक ए ओंग ऐ ओच हयवरट सो अट इट इज पार्ट ऑफ अट आकार इज पार्ट ऑफ अट वॉट अब दिस म म इज पार्ट ऑफ पु प फ भ म सो प वर्ग लेटर इज देर then another a is there which is part of at so a ma makara being pu and a so at plus pu plus at are interleaving therefore these 
should not block the natvam therefore natvam is prapta here it's he thinks as in he introduces a purva paksha rather saying that raman should become ramana nakara there should be natvam here so he says atkup vangnum yavayepi at ka vargah pa vargah ang num etaihi व्यस्तेहि यथा संभव मिलितैश्च व्यवधाने सो यथा संभव मिलिते इन एनी कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ अट कु पु आंग एंड नुम इन एनी कॉम्बिनेशन इफ दे आर इंटरलीविंग व्यवधाने अपि इवन इफ देयर इज सो व्यस्त इफ दे इफ दे आर सेपरेटेड इफ इफ द निमित्त एंड द स्थानीय नकार आर सेपरेटेड बाय एनी ऑफ द कॉम्बिनेशन यथा संभव मिलितैश्च इन एनी कॉम्बिनेशन व्यवधानी अपि इवन इफ देयर इज स्पेसिंग देयर एज इन दे आर इंटरलेफ्ट स्टिल व्हाट रशाभ्याम परस्य नकारस्य नस्य नह समान पदे इति प्राप्ते व्हेन दिस इज दिस इज प्राप्त नत्वम इज प्राप्त ही सेज दैट देयर इज एन अपवाद सिटिंग इन द सेम सेक्शन यू गो फर्दर हियर यू सी The sutra is what Padantasya 8437. So you will see further in 37. This sutra says Padantasya. Padantasya kim na. This na na from here. This na goes till 39. So what is it? Padantasya na. What is na? Something is negated. This entire thing goes till 39. Rashabhyam no na ha. 39 and this entire sutra atkup vangnum vyavayapi also goes till 39 so rashabhyam nonah samana pade atkup vangnum vyavayapi na na when padantasya na if that nakara is at at the end of the padanta then padantasya nakarasya natvam na bhavati rashabhyam and also if ruvarna is preceding or atkup vangnu vyavayapi so this is an apwada padantasya na rashabhyam nonah samana pade and this entire sutra goes down here so any of these conditions even if they are met but if it is a padanta nakara padantasya नह पदांत रशाभ्याम नो नह नॉट नह 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 न भवती नकार नत्व न भवती दैट इज द आइडिया पदांत से नकार से रशाभ्याम समान पदे अटकुप मांगनु व्यवाये पी नत्व न भवती दैट इज द आइडिया एंड देवरफॉर नस्य नो नह नो नह मींस व्हाट नकार से नत्व न भवती देर बाय रामान इज डिराइव्ड so here i didn't put a full stop because this sutra was prapta and is negated by padantasya padantasya shashti ek vachana and nah nakaras is also shashti ek vachana nah is the adesha here natvam na bhavati others this anyway this is panchami dvivachana i'll just mark those and na this is negating समान पदे इन सेम पद रामान इज अ सिंगल पद इट्स नॉट अक्रॉस पद एंड इवन इफ देर इज अटकुप वांग नुम व्यवाये पी इवन इफ देर इज अ सेपरेशन सो आई टेक फाइव मोर मिनिट्स वी स्टार्टेड फाइव मिनिट्स लेट देर बाय रामान इज डिराइव नाउ वॉट डू हैव यू हैव सो जस्ट अम औट सो अम औट ता ताभ्याम विश्व ता इज एडेड सो ही इंट्रोड्यूस इज नेक्स्ट सूत्र फॉर डिरीवेशन राम प्लस टा राम प्लस टा आई एम नॉट गिविंग द एग्जाम्पल हियर आई जस्ट मेन्शन हियर सो फॉर दिस वॉट इज द एग्जाम्पल नाउ फॉर अटकूप वांग हियर ही सेड दी प्राप्ते सो ही इज गिविंग इट अ लेग बाय वॉट इज द एग्जाम्पल हियर रामेण रामेण इज द एग्जाम्पल हियर सो आई जस्ट मेन्शन हियर Ramena, he is going to derive it here now. So Ramena, Ram plus Ta. So when you do Ram plus Ta, how does Takara go? Anyone? Takara, is it an eighth letter? 
and if it is an insulator by what sutra will it go does anyone remember the sutra yeah chutu so why chutu chutu this rama plus a it will become rama plus a chutu tasya lopa and then tasya lopa it is it letter now ram rama plus a what will happen now if you just add them together rama what is it from ramena where does all this come from this sutra tangnyasinyasam inatsyaha tangnyasinyasam inatsyaha so what does he say adantat so you, you look at the sutra 7112 so in 7112 Yeah, this sutra here, seven one twelve. So tang yasing yasam, not tang yasing, tang yasing yasam. Inatsyaha. What is the anurutti here? Ataha, ataha goes till seventeen. So ataha, and we have seen pratyay pare. Ta, ta pratya, yasi, yasi is a pratya, yasi is a pratya. So three pratyas are given for ta, yasi, and yas. Am, see, adantat. He says am. Uh, am inatsyaha in and at. So he says, see this. Rama plus ta has become Rama plus a, and this a is ta. Ta a. It is although takara is it still it is akara is of ta and ta is a pratya. If it is a pratya, then what is the sanya for what precedes? It is anga. So adantad anga. Ataha is there here. Ataha, ataha, tang yasi nyasam. So tang yasi nyasam. Shasti, sorry, inatsya. Shasti, bahu vachana. For so stani for tang yasi and nyas, nyas, tang yasi and nyas. These are pratyas, sub pratyas. For them, what is the in at? sorry in sing the song so in at sha this hmm at Siaha. So it is siya. Actually, this is what this is siya, and then in plural it has become siaha, like Rama ha. So in at and siya has become inat siaha. Difficult to see this. So siaha is in at and siya. So you say Rama siya, Rama at, Rama ena, Rama at, Rama siya. How do you get this? Ta becomes in. nyasi becomes at and nyas nyas becomes sya so all three are covered here but uh, he he doesn't give an example here he, through this sutras he'll assume that the others are also covered when he derives those particular vibhakti vachanas so rama plus a will become what it will become rama plus a will become rama plus in it will become in now in it will become inner not in inner sorry inner there is a savarna dirga sandhi inner at so inner at syaha inner at syaha otherwise you will get this will become padanta nakara not in inner so what happens this inner now Rama plus ina, you will get guna here. Rame, rame na, rame na, rame na, guna sandhi. Then this nakara, atkup vangnu we have refa is there, akara is there, akara is part of at, makara is there, makara is part of pu, and then ekara, ekara is also part of at. 
pratyara for atku vangnum yavip you will get ramena and nakara is not a padanta nakara here therefore you will get natvam here and you will get ramena so that is what he has derived natvam he mentioned natvam here so adantat tadinam inadayah syuh inadayah syuh uh, adantat how did he get adantat due to this at only for an uh, adantat so panchami ek vachana he takes adantat after adanta anga so he brings in angat ataha and then angat is there therefore he adds a tadanta vidhi ataha will become adantat adantad angat adantad tadina inadayah syu means ta will become in ina nyasi will become at and nyas will become sya this is the set of adeshas in one sutra so we'll look at the other forms in the next part ha so when bhyam is added what happens the supicha something will happen we'll see for bhyam supicha dirgha bhavati angasya dirgha bhavati therefore rama bhyam becomes rama bhyam and once you derive rama bhyam you get three forms in just one derivation okay we'll stop here we'll continue in the next part on thursday नटराजराजो नीमर्शे शिव सूत्र Have you already have a question? Yes, yes, yes. The Sambhuddhi Sanya, is it for the Supratya following Rama Shabda or is it? No, for anything. Sambhodana Prathama, that's all. Prathama Vibhakti, Sambhodana has the Sanya of Sambhuddhi. Not only for the Pratya, it's the entire Prathama. No, not for Rama alone. See, what does the Sutra say? The Sutra says, the Sutra says, Ekavachanam Sambuddhi. Ekavachanam Sambuddhi. So Ekavachanam, nothing else is there. Ekavachanam Sambuddhi Sanyasyat. The Sambodhane Prathamayaha Ekavachanam Sambuddhi Sanyasyat. That's all. Not for Rama Shabda. Rama Shabda here is an example. He is deriving Rama Shabda Sambodhana Prathama. Therefore, he needs Sambuddhi Sanyas because he is going to add these sutras where Sambuddhi is used. See, Eng Raswat Sambuddhehe. So uh, what do we know by Sambuddhe? Sambuddhe Hallopa, but what is Sambuddhi we don't know. So he needs to introduce the Sambuddhi Sanya before he can use the Pradesha where Sambuddhi Sanya has been used in the Sutra. Mm -hmm. And the definition is Ekavachana. Okay? No, uh, this He Rama is Sambuddhi Sanya or just... No, no, uh, Pratya is Sambuddhi. Ekavachana. What is Ekavachana? Is either He Rama Ekavachana? Hmm. Ekavachanam is what? So you have to go, see, go through the sutras, just go through the sutras, earlier sutras. In Laghu Pratiya, this Ekavachanam, what is Ekavachanam? All these have been defined earlier. See, Dvekayor Dvivachane Ekavachane. So what is this Ekavachana? Ekavachana, if you go, is Supaha. Supaha, Trini, Trini, Ekavachana, Dvivachana, Bhuvachana, Ani. So this is the Sanya. Ekavachana is a Sanya. For what? For a, for Sup. For Pratya, Pratya is Ekavachana. We say that, we say that which is the Vibhakti, Ekavachana Vibhakti. We may say that, Vachana. But here technically what is Ekavachana is what? Ekavachana, Dvivachana, Bhavachana, Ani are these are ordained, Trini, Trini. All these are ordained, this set of this Pratya, Suvamujas, Amokshas, Tabhyam, this all these are 21 Pratyas are divided into three each. And they are called Vibhakti. And then each of these are called as Ekavachana, Divachana, Bhavachana. So Ekavachana, Ekavachana, Sambodhana. Sambodhana Ekavachana is what? Ekavachana is that Pratyaya. Therefore, when he says Ekavachana Sambuddhi, Ekavachana Sambodhana, that Ekavachana Sambuddhi, in the Sambodhana, Sambodhana Prathama Ekavachana, in Prathama Vibhakti, that Ekavachana will get Sambuddhi Sanyam. 
and uh, next question is atkupang nam vyavayati the yeah. ang is also the ang is also pratyahara ang is not a pratyahara <coughs> where do you get ang pratyahara if you have to yeah. expand see pratyahara is you can expand from the maheshwara sutra where do you get yeah. nyakara is it there mm-hmm. do you remember the maheshwara sutra no, i haven't by heart to this you have to that at the very least you should uh, know maheshwara sutra by root so i un re look a ong so a ong nya but where do you have a there a you don't have so how will we mm-hmm. make ang pratyara nyakara is there but a is not there mm-hmm. because so what does maheshwara sutra does not have a it has a mm-hmm. a e und a includes a but a is not mm-hmm. there ang is mm-hmm. uh, इसे से सी से आ चेन्नई नगरात इफ यू हैव टू से आ चेन्नई नगर व्हाट इज दैट आ दैट इज आंग सो मर्यादा मर्यादायम और अभिविधौ सो टू लिमिट समथिंग सो और से आ कडारात एका संज्ञा इन द सूत्र आ कडारात तिल कडारा सो आ हैज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट आंग हैज द मीनिंग ऑफ द अप टू दैट सो आंग इज इज दैट आंग Hmm. not uh, pratyahara okay and uh, when you derived ramena hmm. ramena we, not ramena ramena ha uh, ramena the yeah. padantasya nakarasya natvam nasya ha but that, where is it in ramena where is it padanta nakara before that ramena that is padanta nakara no where is the padanta nakara what is pada what is the pada sanya Oh, okay, okay. What is the Pada Sanya? No, not okay. You have to tell me what is the Pada Sanya. <laughs> so, uh, Tingantam Padam. Huh. So, okay. is Inna, it is Inna. Rame, Rama plus Inna. Inna, Ta mm-hmm. is replaced by Inna, not In. I, I, I told you that there I, in the, in the separating out, in a hurry to close the class, I made a mistake. Not In, it is Inna. Had it been mm-hmm. In, then that Nakara would not take uh, Natom and it will become Ramein. It, the form is not ramen ramena because mm-hmm. it is inner and inner nakara is is not there at the end akara is at the end so here you see inner where is the nakara at the end mm-hmm. ikara nakara and akara is there mm-hmm. okay okay yeah anything else yeah, okay. no sir thank you anyone else anyone else then i'll see you on thursday namaste hmm namaste thank you